This is the third part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. I will continue introducing mesh controls that are useful in the example I've been working on. One mesh refinement control is called solution adaptive meshing. This type of refinement is not based on a certain static location. It is dynamic and adaptive to the change of any targeted flow solutions during the simulation. To use this control, we select a solution variable or its gradient field to make the mesh refinement adapt to it. The gradient of the solution field is often interested because it is where flow transport and transition occur. I want to use refined mesh to capture the gradient of fuel vapor mass fraction in order to resolve the fuel injection processes better. I also select a criteria to determine how large the gradient should be when the mesh refinement is activated. And a certain desired refinement depths, 1 over 4. The refinement is adaptive in the sense that local cells meeting this selected criteria will be refined, and if previously refined cells no longer meet the criteria, they will be coarsened in adapting to the flow field during the simulation. Now, what if I want to set another refinement control based on a different solution variable. Instead of creating another new refinement control and do all the settings again, I can simply copy the control that I just set and do a paste, give it to a different name, and change the solution variable to, for example, temperature. Another mesh refinement option is called line depth refinement. It can specify refinement along any line in the geometry. It is helpful in the current sector mesh simulation because we want to refine the mesh near the axis of symmetry. To set up the line, I am specifying the starting and ending point of the line. in order to make it extend along the axis of symmetry during the whole simulation as the piston moves up and down. Note that the piston is currently at its top dead center location in this display, and it will move during the simulation once we set up a proper boundary condition for it. To briefly summarize, we have used three types of mesh refinement controls in this project. The surface refinement depth control is used to refine mesh near the wall boundaries. The solution adaptive meshing refines mesh dynamically according to local solutions variations. The line depth refinement is used to refine mesh near the axis of symmetry. This concludes the third part of the demonstration.